Bring your feet together, bring your legs together, squeeze the outer thighs in, lift the chest, broaden, and allow yourself to be back in the heels so you feel the buttocks pressing forwards and the thighs pressing back. Extend down through the arms and allow the chest to ascend while the arms descend. And uh, Gita said they should be like the branches of the banyan, reaching down to the floor, lengthening down to the floor. And let's do trikonasana. Legs wide. Stretch the arms out, drop the shoulders down. Turn the left toes in a little, turn the right leg out, and just check that this thigh muscle is facing directly over the knee, not rolling towards the front edge of your mat. Okay, so the thigh rolls from inside out. Exhale, go down, keep the pressure on the back foot. Lift the chest away from the pelvis, but also lift the back chest. So it's not just the front of the chest, it's the back chest as well. Turn the head and look up if it's comfortable to do so. Press into the back foot, activate that back leg, inhale, come up. Okay, keep the foot where it is, keep the back leg firm, let's bend the leg into the Virabhadrasana too. You may want to widen the legs just a little. Sit down in the pose, stretch out through the arms, turn the head, look along the right arm. Breathe. Extend out. into the back foot, bring the arm up and over the head. Look back behind you, relax the slower arm, but keep the arm propping you up. So the hand is relaxed, but the arm is propping you up. Bring the arm back, stretch back, come back, Vera Bhadrasana two. Legs firm, legs strong. Come down into Uttita Pajvakonasana, full pose. So this right hand is going to come to the floor or to a brick, bring the arm over the head. Back leg firm, pressing the buttocks forwards to open up the groins. Extend through to that top finger, press into that back leg. Inhale, come up, Vera Bhadrasana two. Sit down into the pose, stretch out through the arms. Inhale, come up, bring the feet to face forward, stretch out. Drop the shoulders to the chest, turn the right toes in the foot, turn the whole of the left. Toward for your body. Knee caps if you. Inhale, come up. Okay, we're over dressing too. Sit down into the pose, stretch out through the arms, lift up through the chest. Open up through the body. Breathe. Stretch out. Exhale. Bend to the left elbow, rest it on the thigh, bring the arm over the head. Keeping the arches lifted. You can look back at that back foot, make sure the toes are long. You're pressing into the heel and you're pressing from the mound of the big toe back to the heel also. Keep that action in the leg. Inhale, come up. Vera Madrasa two. Pressing the buttock forwards. Stretching out through the arms. Go down into the pose, take the left hand down onto a brick or to the floor, bring the arm up and over the head. Uttita Paj Vakonasana. The extended angle pose. Side angle pose. Left out the side there. The important bit. And again, if it's comfortable to turn the head to look up, look up. And you should feel one long line from the anti heel through to the fingertips. I don't know how many times I've said that, but really that's how it should feel. Like you're lengthening both sides of the body. Inhale, come back up, Mira Bhadrasana two. Sit deep into the pose. Your legs will feel like they're working now. Feel the strength coming in the thighs. Inhale, come up. Bring the feet to face forwards. 
Open up the chest, legs together. Stand tall, grip the thighs, the legs. Brickshaws, pick up the right leg, bring the foot to the top of the thigh. Press the buttocks forwards and turn the thigh from inside out. Turn the thigh from inside out. So really, the leg, this back leg is like, or the standing leg is like the back leg in Trikonasana. This leg is like the front leg in Trikonasana. Stretch out through the arms and lift up. Stretch up. Breathe. I'm looking down because if I look directly towards the camera, or I look up, I get um, sun in my eyes. So I'm allowing my eyes to look down just a little. Lower the arms, bring the legs together, stand tall. Second side, pick up the left leg. Foot to the top of the thigh, turning the thigh from inside out, pressing the buttock forwards, stretch out through the arms, turn the palms and raise the arms up. Elbows in and up. Breathe. Lift and lengthen, pressing the standing leg buttock forwards, hitting the outer hip in, and keeping that foot well connected on that thigh, turning the bent leg from inside out. Lower the arms down and release the leg. Grip the legs together. Now the next one, you're just going to take hold of the big toe, so bend up the leg, Hold on to the big toe if you can. If you can't get a belt and loop the belt around the big toe, and now stand tall. Now we'll use your left hand and press the thigh back. Really press into that thigh, get the weight into the heel. You can then take the arm up. Stand tall. Now if your legs would allow that right leg, start to unfurl the leg and find out where it will come then through into the heel, point the toes, breathe, standing leg firm, press the thigh back whilst pressing the buttocks forwards, bend the leg, lower the arm and come back to standing, grip the thighs together, widen the collarbones, second side, pick up the left leg, take hold of the big toe, stand tall, really feel like you're pulling that leg up whilst you're dropping that buttock down. Exhale, extend the foot, raise the arm up, stretch up, breathe. Pressing the buttocks forwards, opening up the backs of the legs. Legs strong and firm. Exhale, release the leg down, lower the arm down, lift the chest and then place the foot on the floor. Stand with the legs together. All right, you know what's coming next. We're gonna take the leg, bent leg out to the side. Okay, so pick up the leg and take hold of the big toe again. Lift up the chest. So we're turning the thigh from inside out. This standing leg is staying strong. With an exhalation, take the leg out to the side and take the hand out to the side. Drop the shoulders, breathe, work the legs. Really extend into the big toe there. Exhale, release, come back to center. Allow the foot to come down, squeeze the legs together, lift up through the chest. Second side. Raise the leg up, take the knee out to the side, open the chest. Exhale, leg out, point the toes, find your balance, breathe. Extend into the mound of the big toe, drop the shoulders. Lift the heart, press the buttocks forwards whilst on that standing leg whilst pressing the thigh back on the standing leg. Turn from the root of the thigh. Drop the shoulders. Exhale, release the leg back down and bring the legs together. Grip the legs together, stretch down through the arms, lift up through the chest. Now we're going to bring the leg into a Padmasana leg. So with an exhalation, raise the right leg up, turn the sole of the foot and allow the knee to come down. So the rotation comes from the whole of the hip there. Let's see if you can ease the leg in a little bit more. 
stand tall, standing legs strong, and raise the arms up. Breathe, tailbone down towards the heels, press the buttocks forwards whilst pressing the thighs back to open up the groins. Lower the arms and release the leg. Stand tall, lift the chest, second side. Bend up the legs, bring the foot into lotus, have master the leg. Press the buttocks forwards whilst pressing the thighs back. Get a good connection through this raised foot. Stretch out through the arms, turn the palms up, and raise the arms up. Lift up through the chest. Breathe. Opening up the sides of the waist. Lower the arms and release the leg. Stand tall. Lift up through the chest and group the legs together. Badanguyasa. So bring the weight back into the heels, interlace the fingers, push the palms away and raise the arms up. Take the tailbone towards the heels and lift the chest. That's the front and the back of the chest. Up you go. Lower the arms down. Change the interlace, push the palms away and allow the arms to come up again. Breathe. Lower the arms down. Separate the feet. Let the feet feel like they're nice and grounded. Bring the hands to Namaskarasana. Widen the shoulders, widen the collarbones, close the eyes. Allow your breath to settle. Allow the face to settle. Keep the buttocks pressing forwards, the thighs press back. Sit well in your body. After all, that's what asana also translates to, to sit well within, or to a seat. Bow the head to the heart. Pay your respects. Be grateful for the small things. And this thing called life. Release the hands. Open the eyes. And raise the head up.